Hello everyone. As you may or may not know, I, I started doing movie nights on March 13th of 2020, which means this last movie night was the end of year number two of Matt's movie nights. Last year I did a, a by the numbers for year one, so this year I've got year two's numbers. To start us off, the country of origin was a much more abysmal spread this year than it was last year. Last year I was trying to work in a lot of like weird foreign stuff, and uh, this year I was mainly focused on showing like... Well, I, I mean, I spent a lot of time showing the Universal Monster movies, as well as uh, the Hammer Horror movies, which are British, so... Uh, as a result... There were 52 American movies and 11 British movies. Those are my top two countries of the year. Uh, Japan coming in with a close eight. After that, it's all only one movie. One Spanish movie, one Italian movie, one Finnish movie, one Britain-Hong Kong co-production, uh, one Canadian film, one French film, one French-American and Italian co-production. Which, uh, I mean, we get to add Finland to the map, but otherwise, no, nah, this is a pretty abysmal uh, turnout for Country of Origin. Then we get into content ratings. Two G-rated movies. It took us a whole year, but we, we finally showed some G-rated movies this year. Uh, last year we had no G-rated movies. We also got six PG-rated films and one M for Mature film. Yeah, uh, M for Mature used to be a rating for movies, but they changed it because parents couldn't remember if R or M was worse. And then when the ESRB came out, they just stole M for Mature because the parents already assumed that was the worst rating. Um, so M for Mature eventually became PG, although I believe the one M for Mature movie we saw has been re-rated PG-13. Incidentally, no PG-13 movies this year. It's bizarre that that happened. 35 R-rated movies, 1 X-rated movie, 1 NC-17 rated movie, 9 past or approved movies, and 23 not rated or unrated movies. And, uh, that's... About the spread we got last year, there were a lot more R-rated movies last year. And again, it's because I did so many Universal Monster movies. Those are all either not rated or, like, approved. That explains that breakdown. Now, the one spread I am actually much happier about this year is the decade of release, because... This year, last year, there was kind of a nice bell curve to it with some odd bumps at the end. But this year, it's just all over the place. We did still primarily stick to the 70s and 80s, but there's a much nicer spread this year. One movie from the 20s, six from the 30s, two from the 40s, nine from the 50s, six from the 60s, 19 from the 70s, 21 from the 80s, 8 from the 90s, 2 from the aughts, and 4 from the 2010s. So, uh, yeah, that's a much nicer spread, I think, than last year's. Although, maybe we could thin out 70s and 80s a little more. <laughs> it is still really bunched up there in the, the 70s and 80s, but what are you going to do? And then, of course, we get into the raw numbers. The body count this year was 1,148 dead bodies. Twelve of those were sentient aliens. My stipulation was the aliens had to be sentient to be counted in part of that body count. I think there were only two movies where aliens die, even. Um, and so most of those are from one movie. Eleven were from one movie. The The twelfth one is The Predator from Predator. Also, uh, one of those dead bodies is Jesus, and his whole thing is that he came back, but uh, he was dead at the end of the movie. It was Last Temptation of Christ, and Jesus was still dead at the end of the movie. There was no resurrection in that movie. Not to say there couldn't have been a resurrection after the end of the movie, just it ends with him dead, so it counts for the body count. In a similar vein, I've got 
uh, Universal's Dracula, Hammer's Dracula, Universal's uh, Frankenstein monster, and Universal's Wolfman, each in there only as one, even though technically they all kind of die in every movie they show up in, but then they're alive in the next movie. But because we showed uh, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein and... Uh, Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires. Those were the final movies in all in those series. So all four of them permanently died at the end of those movies. We're only counting their dead bodies for those movies. Now, that number is lower than last year's body count, but if you'll remember, last year I started doing it every week instead of every other week for like a month right at the beginning of the pandemic. I think it was May, maybe April, but I think it was May. I did it just every week instead of every other week. So our average body count per movie has gone up. It is 14.72 per movie, where last year was like 13 and a half. So, yeah, we, we've gone up a pretty significant amount, actually, on average. I mean, it's it's one and some change, but still, I'm, I'm glad we were able to bump up that uh, average body count. I'd like to bump it up even more in the future, but, uh, you know, we'll see. It was a handful of movies doing some heavy lifting for that that number. Uh, particularly the three Schwarzenegger movies we ended with. Uh, as well as like Die Hard and the Point Blank triple feature. Um, oh, and the, the Street Fighter movies. All the Street Fighter movies definitely helped with that. Because like the Universal horror movies, honestly pretty low body counts throughout. If you assume 90 minutes per movie, which is maybe not accurate, but like, I showed some real short films, but I also showed some real long films, so I will say average of 90 minutes a movie seems fair. Uh, average of 90 minutes per movie, that means there's a dead body approximately every six minutes. And, unlike last year, I kept track of how everyone died. So here is a list of every way someone died this year. Drowning, burning, getting crushed, radiation, a car wreck, getting trampled, an explosion, getting shot with a gun, a bow, a crossbow, and a harpoon, getting stabbed with a knife, a sword, an axe, a stake, a sickle, a mace, a pitchfork, a spear, a gun, someone gets stabbed with a gun, a sigh, a machete, a drill, a chainsaw, a phantasm sphere, scissors, gardening shears, a scalpel, a saw blade, and claws. Like animal claws. Neck snapping, old age, crucifixion, birth complications, guillotined, demonic possession, airplane crashes, eaten alive, hit by a car, pistol whip, cursed, lasered, blood draining, drilling, poisoning, hanging, the plague, strangling, heart punching, scared to death, buried alive, skull fracturing, eye gouging, castration, rail kills, throat ripping, spine snapping, electrocution, beaten to death, shot with a soda can, Falling, exposure to sunlight, bear trap to the head, attacked by dogs, overdose on heroin, sleeping pills, super crack, and some crazy future drug. Getting cut in half by an atomic door, having your soul sucked out, being crushed under the hood of a car, thrown against a rock, shoved on some broken glass, cyanide capsule, run over by a lawnmower, frankenhookered? I'm not sure how else to explain that, some guys have sex with frankenhooker, and it makes them, like, explode with electricity. So they got Frankenhookered. Thrown on some spikes, skinned alive, and exposed to the surface of Mars. Plus a few from unknown causes. I should also mention, I, I noted here, two guys who just disappear? There's a scene in the movie Elves where some guys are trying to, like, break into the mall. Uh, and then, like, the Nazis show up, and we see the dead body of one of the guys... And no word on what happened to the other two. Maybe they got killed? Maybe they ran off? We can't be sure. It seems reasonable to say that they were probably killed, but we can't confirm that. So there's also two unconfirmed bodies out there. Two guys who just sort of disappear. Uh, moving on to the nudity. We got 237 tits. Now, once again, that is individual tits, because sometimes you only see one. 
Although this year, that's an odd number because of Total Recall. Because there's three tits in Total Recall. Also, eight penises, which is a far cry from the 48 penises of last year. However, if you'll recall, I said 40 of those penises were from Caligula. So, excluding Caligula, same number of penises this year as last year. Significantly less drug use this year. Uh, we got 21 tabs of acid, 8 joints, 3 lines of cocaine, 2 cocaine bumps, uh, 2 needles of heroin, 2 pipes full of crack, 10 pipes full of super crack, that's what he actually calls it, a needle full of PCP, some crazy future drug, and also 3 unidentified pills. And then there's the booze. S seemingly less booze this year too, but we'll still go over it. We got 55 beers, 38 glasses of wine, one spoonful of wine, one bowl full of wine, and one glass of poisoned wine. 36 glasses of champagne, 17 shots of whiskey, 9 shots of vodka, 5 shots of brandy, 4 shots of tequila, 4 glasses of scotch, 2 glasses of ale, 2 glasses of cognac, 2 highballs, 2 brandies, 2 glasses of schnapps, one swig of moonshine, one hard cider, one bourbon, one glass of space liquor, nine unidentified shots, five unidentified cocktails, and 20 swigs out of unidentified bottles. And then the vehicle destruction. 50 cars, nine semi-trucks, eight motorcycles, four helicopters, three vans, two ice cream trucks, different movies, two ice cream trucks. Two boats, two RVs, two trains, two airplanes, two jeeps, one armored vehicle, one ambulance, one bulldozer, one spaceship, one mobile mount, one tugboat, one paddy wagon, and one drill. Like the, the big, like, it's a big, big, like, piece of machinery drill. I'm counting that as a vehicle. Then we've got our swear words. As a reminder, these are the seven words you can't say on television, except motherfucker's been replaced by bitch because... Motherfucker's just another form of fuck. We have 254 counts of fuck, plus one instance of someone mouthing fuck. Now, that number is significantly lower than last year, but unlike last year, it's a little more evenly spread, because last year there were just some heavy hitters doing a lot of the lifting on that number. I'm pretty sure Rob Zombie's Devil's Rejects trilogy alone has more uses of fuck than that. But this year, it was, it was more movies had the word fuck in them. Just it would be like one or two uses each. 187 uses of shit. Plus, also in elves, someone says shiza. Now, usually when I'm watching a foreign film, if a swear word shows up in the subtitles, I count it. Because I'm like, yep, there it is, in the subtitles. The English swear word. There were no subtitles for the guy who said Shiza, but I know that means shit, so it's like, does that count, or does it not count? Six uses of the word piss, and one use of the word pissant. I'm not sure if that counts. Four uses of cunt. No uses of cocksucker. No one said cocksucker even once this year. 83 uses of bitch, and 2 uses of tits. Although, like I said last year, that's the one I probably got wrong, because I hear the word tits and it doesn't even process to me that that is a swear word. 10 crotch shots, I'm probably gonna not count those next year, but 10 crotch shots. And 270 smashed windows. That is the only number that is up from last year. Now again, we did watch more movies than last year, but also this year we watched a, a lot more milder movies. So part of part of the reason a lot of these numbers are lower is that we weren't watching like the crazy fucked up shit we were watching in year 1. <laughs> But, uh, that's the only number that's up from last year. 270 smashed windows. 13 counts of gay shit. 15 counts of satanic shit. Plus, 3 counts of unholy shit. 
Uh, it was the three mummy movies I showed. Uh, in all three of them, he, he gains knowledge that is described as being unholy and like a, a blasphemy to the gods. Which sounds pretty satanic, except that it's happening in, uh, you know, Egyptian mythology, right? Uh, it's, it's not a... <laughs> it's, it's not the Abrahamic Satan. So three counts of unholy shit... We'll count that. And that's all the numbers we have for this year. Uh, I would like to get some of those numbers up next year. But, I, I mean, this year it was about showing some of the classics. Next year I want to dedicate myself to two things. One, way more weird fucked up shit. Um, I mean, we did some fucked up shit in year one. And, I mean, we did fucked up shit in year two. Like, we watched Frankenhooker, okay? Like, it's it's not like I've gone soft or anything. Just, uh, I wanted to knock out the universal horror movies. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, more fucked up shit. And also, more foreign films. I am going to make a conceited effort to show more foreign movies and I'm, I'm gonna try to add as many new countries to our, our map as possible um i don't have a literal map but maybe i should um here it is the countries of the world map all the ones in red are countries we've seen movies from uh come back next year and see how many more of these we can light up red uh until next time have a nice day uh, I'll, I'll, well, I'll be here with the, uh, analysis for the three Schwarzenegger movies I showed next Friday.